A math problem needed to be solved? That sounds like a job for Nigel, the math explorer. Yay! Awesome! Math guy! Awesome! Math guy! Awesome! Math guy! Awesome math guy! The math explorer. Nigel! I'll solve your problems. And I'm a math guy! Welcome to the Math Explorer. My name is Nigel Mathberry, and I'm here today to talk about scientific notation. What scientific notation, you say? Scientific notation is a thing that scientists use to write really big or really small numbers. I know, amazing. All right, I need to find a problem. I need to explore the unknowns. I need to find where the problem is involving the numbers with scientific notation. Will you help me? Great, all right, where is the problem? It's somewhere in the room. Where is it? It's where? Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, come on hither, come hither to the problem. All right, I have the problem. Four and 37 hundredths times 10 to the fifth power. One real saying that I say down under in Australia is you take the little number and you move along from down under. The little number is the five. What's the little number? Good job, it's the five. Okay, the little number is the five. We're gonna take that little number and we're gonna move along from down under. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down the number. Four and 37 hundredths. And then I'm gonna move along from down under five places. So I take the little number and move along from down under. Say it with me. Good job. All right, little number, move along from down under. One, two, three, four, five. I move it five times because the little number tells you how many times to move it. Oh, crazy, I know. So then I put the zeros right here, and my number is 437,000. Whoa, oh, crikey. Scientific notation is really easy, isn't it? I know. Okay, let's go on for our search and look for more numbers in the natural habitat. Let's go to the school and go find those numbers. Come hither. Look, a number in its natural habitat, the math classroom. Let's get a little bit closer and solve this one together. Come on, come closer. All right, we have two and eight hundredths times 10 to the negative third power. Now you might be kind of confused and be thinking, Nigel Mathberry, what is going on with this problem? And I will tell you if you really <laughs> You might be asking yourself, Nigel Mathberry, what's happening with this number right here? Well, because it's negative, we're gonna move it to the left this time. I know, crazy. Instead, we're gonna just have the same number and we're gonna move along from down under. All right, so here we go. Two and eight hundredths. This time we're gonna to move to the left. One, two, three times. Because the little number is negative three. Oh. This changed my life about three years ago and I haven't been the same since. So right here we have zero, zero. And our number is point. Zero, zero, two, zero, eight. Tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Two hundred and eight hundred thousands. Crikey, I love mathematics. Do you hear that? Sounds like a math problem's in trouble. Blimey! Let's go find it and save the day. This is a job for the Math Explorer. Yay! Oh, there it is. Oh no. It seems like it's some, some kind of contraption. I'm not sure if this is man-made or if it's made by an animal. I don't know who'd want to try. It seems to be some kind of contraption. 
That's what it is, it's a contraption. <laughs> All right, we're gonna save this number. Are you ready to help me? What am I gonna need? I need you to count to three, okay? One. Ugh. Count along with me, please. One, two, three. Ugh. Yes, you helped me save the day. Good job, now go tell your mommy and daddy to get you a juice snack. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and change this number to scientific notation. Come closer. Closer. Oh no, that's too, too close, too close. You don't want to reveal all my pimples. Okay, so we're, we're gonna look at this number and it is 420. This number is 421 billion. That's a rather large number to write and scientists will sometimes use scientific notation to make this number seem smaller but still the same value. Now watch what I do, we'll start at the end of the number, we're gonna count how many places it takes to get right about here. Here we go. Together now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven places. Wow, that's a crazy amount of places. That's a pretty big number, 421 billion. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna write it down. 4.21. Now, how many places did I move it? Good job, 11 places. Okay, so we have 4.21 times 10 to the 11th power. Scientific notation, standard notation. Scientific notation, standard notation. Now say it with me now. Scientific notation, standard notation. Scientific notation, standard notation. Scientific notation, Standard notation. <laughs> Good job. Thanks for watching the first episode of Nigel, the Math Explorer. The night has been dawned. I need to go out and find problems, but you can't go with me because it's too dangerous in the dark. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.